¡Hola! Mi amigo, mi, mis, mis amigas, mis amigos. Hola, mis amigos. Hola, mis amigos. ¿Cómo está? Ah, bueno. Uh, sí, uh, ¿Dónde está mi pantalones? Sí, mi pantalones rosa. Mi grande pantalones, sí. Porque he tu Hola, mi amigo. Ha, how are you? Hi, everybody. Hello. Oh, did you think this was somebody else? No, it's Ewan. Hello. Oh, did you know Ewan's not even bilingual? Ewan's multilingual. Ewan speaks all language. I speak the human language. I'm a, a student of humanity. I speak... I speak to all people through all mediums, through language and and looking at you a bit funny and drawing things to get my, my point across. Because I'm an illustrator, I illustrate my ideas with images and therefore I break boundaries of language and sexuality and bodily fluids with art because that's what art does oh isn't art g oh round of applause for bloody art hooray isn't drawing pictures great uh, um hola mi amigo como esta esta bueno muy bueno Sí. Maricón. <laughs> I know that word. Um, if you are or aren't, then I have no idea what I'm doing. Hello. Today I'm drawing a Spider-Man. Um, I hear he does whatever a spider can. Here he spins webs. Any, any size. Any size webs. Does them all. Big ones, small ones. Some as big as your head. Um, catches thieves like they're flies. He catches them like they're flies, he does. Just like flies. Like flies, yeah, he catches them like flies. Oh, amazing. Like some kind of spider. He's also a man. A spider. Man. April well. I hope you're all doing great. Clearly, I'm doing wonderfully. Hi, how are you all? I fucked these eyes up a little bit. Let me fix them. <laughs> I hope you're all... I hope all of our Spanish-speaking viewers are... Well. No, not you. You know who you are. That one, yeah. That one specific Spanish friend speaking to you. I hope you're not okay, you know. You know, you know the one. Um, otherwise, I hope you're all doing wonderfully. Mm -hmm. I hope you're all having lots of fiestas <laughs> and siestas and paella and other Spanish words which I will remember forthwith. This is not going to be an informational podcast, evidently. Oh, as if they ever are, you and good one. Uh, um, hello, como esta? Hola, mi amigo. Bueno. Buenos noches. Buenos tardes. Hasta luego. Penis. Penis, penis. Pequeño penis. Ewan's penis es pequeño. I think that means enormous. Um... I th yeah, I think it means really big and powerful. Um, Ewan es pequeño. Pequeño y rosa y paella. 
Um, so I'm drawing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no idea what I'm doing. Help! I'm currently on the waiting list to speak to a psychiatrist. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, hi, how are you all? Hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all still keeping your fucking masks on, cunts. Um, uh, you know, if you're into it. If you're not, then fuck off. Uh, wh why are you speaking Spanish? Well because I hurt my head and now I think I'm somebody else. Um, which, you know, it happens. I had a friend that happened to, to and he became homeless. <laughs> <laughs> he had nowhere to live. <laughs> He was so dirty. Um, the so I'm drawing Spider-Man, um, a very specific Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever. He um, is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. But can he swing from a web? <laughs> Take a look. Overhead. Hey, there. There goes the um, the spider man. Do. I've taken my caffeine pill. Um, I I just I watched rewatched Into the Spider Verse with a lovely friend. So now I'm drawing Miles Morales, uh, aka that Spider Man from that film. Um, because why why not, why bloody not? Do I have commissions to be working on? Yes. Do I have comic books I'm working on too that I should really get to f finishing or, you know, even starting? Yes. Are there many other things I could be doing other than one random drawing of a spider person? Yes, but, you know, eat your mother's cunt. Fuck you. I just feel like drawing Spider-Man, so I'm drawing Spider-Man. Um, again, I'll, I'll get to work on the Spider-Man comic. I might redo my entire six-page Spider-Man comic. I'm really, I think... I'm just getting bogged down in trying to make it look like a Marvel comic and less like a me comic. It's painted by me, so it will look like it's been painted by me. But I think I'm trying that. What do I, what does young cool you and always say? Do it. Exactly. Your mother's a cunt. And I don't know, something about Jewish people. Well, um, so I'm I might redo it all. Not, I mean, mostly like the anatomy. So I'm just not happy with, I just don't like how it looks. And that's kind of the point of a comic book, isn't it? Especially one that's not really going to have words in it. It's going to be all pictures. And therefore, the pictures are kind of important. Um, in my opinion, for what that's worth, which is nothing. <laughs> So I might redo all of that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the basic outlines, uh, or out, out, outlines, the basic, uh, you know, the layout will pretty much be the same. So I'll just trace most of it, but then finagle it to look how I want it to look. It would be more, more stretchy, more crazy, more fun, more cartoony. Because it's easy to get bogged down in trying to make things look a certain way. Um, you know. And, and, well, I'd be a big, fat, stinking hypocrite. El grande stinkeo hipocrito. Um, if I was to do that. Telling people, well, don't try, you fucking idiot. Did you try? You actually put effort into a thing. Are you a fucking moron? Are you a fucking fat? You know, that way. The, um... Uh, so don't do that, and then I'll try not to do that too. <laughs> and we'll all drink lemonade. The end. Bye. I'm not actually ending the podcast there. That'd be stupid. It's been what? How many? Ten minutes. Ah, oh. uh, I've got to keep going. Oh god. Um. <laughs>
Oh. I've not been very active this week. I've been busy dealing with emotions and guests and such and pests. Some of those things are the same uh, thing. So I've been, yeah, not, not drawing much this week, which is, you know, it's cool. I've had other things to do. No need business. Mind your fucking business, cunt. Who asked you? you fuck you. Oh, fuck. Um, so I'm drawing Spider-Man. <laughs> Who's your favourite Spider-Man? What's your favourite Spider-Man costume? One of my favourite... I used to collect Spider-Man comics, but then they got dumb. I've, I've spoken about all of this at length, so I won't go too deep into it. But um, there was this, this arc in a bunch of the comics where there was a bounty put on Spider-Man's head. Um, there was like this huge bounty out for his capture. Uh, so he was laying low, but he was still out fighting crime, but he had a bunch of like three uh, different outfits he was using that weren't spider people outfits, but like generic super person outfits. One of them was really cool, was called Dusk, which was like an all black, almost like a Spider-Man costume, but just all black, like shadow, completely black. Um, and it had like the wings under the arms. And he could blend into shadows with it. So he'd stand in a shadow and he'd completely vanish. And that was pretty cool. Um, another one. Another one was Hornet. And what was the... Th there was a third one. Uh, which I forget. So it must have been really good. Uh, but Hornet was like a, a pink and turquoise thing. And he had like a jetpack that looked kind of like little Hornet wings. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It'd be gay if you ask me. Oh! Don't use that word to mean something bad. Oh, I didn't. I was just saying. Um, yeah, but it was a funny little arc because then these random superheroes that he was dressed as would show up instead of Spider-Man and then no one knew what was going on. And they all drank lemonade. Yeah. Um, but then, as I've said before, there was the, the amazing <laughs> plant man super villain which had me disgusted and, and made me stop buying the comic so you know if you're listening marvel i'm sure someone at marvel listens to my podcast why wouldn't they it's so popular um then you know don't do shit like that it's one of those villain of the week things where it was obviously not some big story arc it was just an issue in between other important issues and they were like quick we need someone for spider-man to fight and it was a man dressed as a big leaf he looked kind of like electro's old spiky yellow costume but with leaves and he was plant man and he controlled plants like poison ivy but i don't know what the fuck they were doing with that that was one of those like throw a dartboard uh, throw a dart throw a dartboard throw the entire dartboard at your cat fuck the cat cats are stupid they shit they smell fuck them literally hold them down penetrate them, fuck them until you finish, until you've gotten yours. Don't worry about them, just like women. You're the important one. Don't worry about getting them off. And then um, throw a dart at a, a, a random amount of, like, you know, suggestions for supervillains. You could have plant man. You could have, you know, fertilizer man. You know, there's a thread of them, vegetation men, and then there's maybe mineral men, rock man, sediment man, sed sedentary, is that a type of sedimentary or whatever, other types of rock, igneous, igneous rock man, sandstone man, you could have w water, water, hydro man's a thing, so is sand, oi, they really fucking stink, don't they? Oh, let's have a man made of sand. Let's have a man made of water. There was Molten Man. He was quite a cool villain. I think he was in like a couple of issues. He was... But, okay, here's my issue with Molten Man. He was a man who was molten... Brilliant. Yeah, so like hot metal man, 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 metal man. Like the Silver Surfer, but orange. And he had like a crew cut 
hair, uh, whatever. He was, he, I can't remember why, because I don't care, because it was boring, but he had a destination to get to. So he was walking there in a straight line through the city. So he was walking through walls because they melt on impact because he's molten. And then he, he, yeah, and that's that. He'd just literally walk through. And so it was like dangerous because molten metal man. So Spider-Man fought it. I quite like the idea of that, of like the guy just walking through shit and destroying everything he touches. Um, it, bullets may have like had no effect because of that as well. They might have like melted before they hit him or some shit. I don't know, whatever. But how is he fucking walking on ground? If he could walk through buildings because of his heat, how is he standing on concrete and not just sinking into the fucking planet, into the Earth's core and dying then? It might have been like a control. I don't know. Again, I didn't really read it because <laughs> readings for fucking nerds, and I'm not one of them anymore since I left school, college, and university, and live on my own in a very lonely, lonely, dark place. But um, maybe he could like turn his heat up and down, or something like that, so he could control the temperature of his feet compared to the temperature of the rest of his body. But it's, it does it, oh, fucking. Why wouldn't he just sink through the floor? God fucking damn it. Marvel, you fucking stink. Oh, Spider-Man. Yeah, he's iconic now. And I guess he was back then. But it's high, hardly the most original idea for a fucking superhero, is it? Oh, Stanley's one of the most innovative creators of our time. He came up with all the great... Oh, yeah, the Incredible Hulk. Spider-Man he was probably fucking desperately trying to come up with superheroes, saw a spider walk across his desk and thought, oh, wait a minute, what if that spider had superpowers and it was super spider? Oh, that'll never fly. Oh, fly, spy. No, wait, what if it was a man? Oh my God, who had the, the, the relative strength and agility and such of a spider? And he also happened to be a super genius and could create these web shooters, depending on which generation of Spider-Man you're reading. Oh, genius. Go bloody go, Stan bloody dead now Lee. Who to the ray for him? Um, nothing against Spider-Man. I'm, I'm a fan, you know. Except for that fucking plant man. She, God damn it, I fucking hate it so much. I might... I might dig through my comics later on and find that issue. I'll do a video about it and then I'll tear it to pieces and set it on fire and then spit on it and then cry because that's what I'm doing with my life now. I'm burning comic books like the Nazis. <laughs> Burn the books. Keep the masses stupid so they believe all your shit. And shave your head. Because whites are... Let's not go down this road again. This is... I think every... Maybe even every week, my whole Ewan is a white supremacist shtick gets more and more dicey. Like, I should do it less because people might take me seriously a little bit more each time. And, you know... I had... <laughs> I'm fine. I had an idea for the start of a video of, of the, with the camera pointing at me to have an actual giant Nazi flag in the background and pretend I don't know it's there for like a second and then like I look in the viewfinder as I'm recording myself and then I look behind me and I'm like oh ooh, I forgot that was there and quickly take it down and then be like <clears throat> uh, so anyway as I was saying just for like that for that for like a five second joke of oh I forgot my Nazi flag was up let me hide that so no one thinks I'm an actual Nazi um, and then I was online shopping for giant Nazi flags and I thought hmm maybe I won't just in case uh, they might put my address on some kind of list uh, so I didn't and also that was uh, maybe a couple of years ago year or two and uh in retrospect i'm glad i didn't especially because of 
you know, recent events around the world regarding certain presidencies and their followers and such, it's probably best that I didn't have a big fucking Nazi flag hanging in my bedroom. Um, I invite my parents around, my mother and stepfather, my folks, as I call them. Hey, come round for lunch. Oh, don't mind the giant Nazi flag. That's just for a bit of fun. It's just a laugh, I promise. I'm not actually one of them. I'm a big fat misogynist and I say, you know, racially insensitive things sometimes, but it's all fun and games. Um, so I'm drawing Spider-Man today. Oh, fancy. Into the Spider-Verse is, is the best superhero movie ever created. I'm just going to put that out there. And if you disagree, you're a fucking idiot. Um, I guess you're entitled to your opinion, however wrong it may be. Should we look at an art book? Shit. Shit. This is The Perfect Merge by Herakut. They are a German duo of artists involving Hera, the girl, yuck, and Akut. The man, less yuck, but still kind of, you know, ugh, get away from me. Um, it's quite a cool book. This is a really, like, well-put-together art book. The artwork is kind of cool, you know? I dig, dig what they do. They've got a good combination of styles. But the book itself, like these end papers, it's like scribbled paper. And the book's got a nice, like, matte feel to it. Oh, I'd feel matte up. I'm sure he'd enjoy it. Oh. Um, here, I the perfect merge. Uh, oh, thanks to whoever for this book that's them look at them they have they're actually really handsome people it's kind of annoying you always hope that like you know comedians and artists are all ugly ugly people and that they made up for that by building this huge set of skills and talents um and then you know that gives you a reason to like them and then when you see an attractive artist or comedian or whatever it happens to be you go oh well now i'm less interested in them because fuck them why don't they get a job being attractive somewhere, the cunts. Um, so Hera, the lady, the lass, the gal, or the human with the longer hair in this instance. Let's be, you know, sensible about it. She does these sort of sketchy drawings of people, sketchy sketches of, of you know, boys and girls and things. And then Akut, uh, both of them, I guess, from a graffiti background, but Akut uh, does lots of photorealistic uh, work with spray paint. Um, actually, hugely impressive work with spray paint. Um, so their styles mix very well in having the sketchy, sketchy body drawings from Hera. And then, um, especially I like this where it's just part of it is photorealistic. So the body's all sketchy and shit and a funny little scribbly hat. But then the face is like more or less photorealistic. Done with spray paint and like bits of card to mask off areas while you add highlights and such. Um, and their subject matter is kind of often a bit meh, but in general their imagery is pretty interesting. So I think that's, you know, they they sort of win me over a little bit there. Because, um, yeah, the, you know, there might be some meaning and feeling to it, but ultimately like person on bed, a guy with a dog's head, it's kind of cool, but kind of like... Yeah, whatever. Um, but the way it's painted is pretty interesting. I dig that. The, that's all spray painted, that photorealistic sort of Barbie doll body. It's quite cool. Um, not to diminish what they do because of the subject matter. Sometimes the subject matter is very interesting, but in some instances it's not. And of course you can say exactly the same about my work or any other artist's work. It's all just... It's all just pictures, you know? It's all just paintings and pictures. Um... I like the like the when they do collages of stuff like this where it's loads of loads of scribbles, loads of paint. Work with paint. Painting. Um it's, it's, it makes for some nice artwork. It, it does it's quite decorative in instances, so that's quite cool. They do sort of bigger murals as well. Um the juxtaposition boy girl and peeing and the girl's head and it's all that's kind of cool scribbly scribbly photorealistic cool that's all i can really say scribbles and photorealistic oh fun fact i read about mr akut in an interview is that uh 
he he refers to all the paint by the the color codes so every color in the world um has like a, a is it like six digit code or something to it i think black or white is like zero 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 um, and then all the other numbers uh, all the other colors have other numbers i think he worked in like the montana spray paint factory or something so he learned because of how i assume you work in that condition uh, or those conditions uh, you learn codes of things in order to use you know uh cataloging systems and such it was the same when i worked in the shoe store you learn the codes of shoes rather than the names and such so apparently he'll be talking to you know Hera and be like oh throw me another zero zero three oh six two or whatever and she's like what the fuck are you talking about and he goes oh sorry i meant green um that's an interesting fact that I happen to have read once in an interview. So I'm going to use it because it's relevant. But look, Scribbles, photorealistic. It's a pretty cool combination. They call themselves a perfect merge. I'd agree. They fit very well together. Um, looks like they have a whale of a time painting all their shit. It's quite cool, though, to see uh, all the mess, the dripping paint, and the blocks of, like, slapped-on paint, the scribbly text, stenciled bits... And then like a photorealistic bit here. Nice shapes. I used to do this as well. Cut off the people's arms because I couldn't be fucked to draw them. I'm not saying that's what she does. I'm just saying I've been in that position and I get it. Yeah, I get it. Uh, it's quite a good book though. It's, 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 it's a very good book. I, I happened upon it in a bookstore uh, where I wasn't expecting to find it. And I stole it because that's what I was doing at the time. And yeah, it's a good book. So, you know. At least they don't have my money. <laughs> so, <what? laughs> mm. Yeah, it's pretty good though. I mean, I'd be happy to paint like that with like brushes and shit, let alone spray paint. Spray paint's notoriously difficult if you don't know what you're doing. So to be able to do that with it is, is very cool. Um, I know they say they use a lot of song lyrics as like inspiration for their pieces, so that's quite cool. Like if you can't think of anything to draw, Pick a song, illustrate some of the lyrics from it. It's not a bad way to go. I've done that a couple of times. And me, me, me. Now, let's talk about me some more. Here's someone else's art book. Anyway, me. Huh, the interesting one. And there's some more of there. Oh, look, they're talking about things. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's a cool art book, though. You know, you can look at this for an hour, maybe a bit less, because that's quite a long time to look at one book. But it's good. I like it. I like it. I would pay for it if I hadn't already got it for free by breaking the law. These days, I'd buy things, so I would buy it. Uh, look, m mice or rats. Oh, they've got, like, human eyes, though. Photorealistic human eyes on the scribbly rats. It's a good... You might say it's, it's a perfect merge of styles. It's pretty cool. I dig it. I'm down. I'm for them. Very much in favour of what it is that they do. Oh, look, tits. I hear he does whatever a spider can. Um... I mean, what does that imply? That implies, it doesn't say he can do whatever a spider can. It says he does whatever a spider can, which means he eats flies, which is kind of weird. He catches flies in webs and eats them. He wraps them up. Fucking, what do they, spit acid on them so they, like, digest within the web or some shit? Or I might, I might be making that up. I don't know. I don't know how sp I'm not a fucking spider enthusiast. How would I know how fucking spiders live? Let them live their own life. Live their best spidery lives. Unless they come near me, I'll fucking kill them, the bastards. Not straight away. I have a rule. I have a rule in my house. Um, I'm perfectly happy to let bugs live here, because, you know, let's face it, I'm a filthy piece of shit. So bugs, bugs are welcome. Mice, rats, they're all allowed. Happily, you know, I'm not going to... 
trap them, throw them out, burn them, whatever. They're allowed to live here. Rent free, as it were. But if they touch me once, they're fucking dead. So, you know, live here by all means, but stay the fuck away or you're going to get squashed, mate. Yeah. See you, mate. You fucking come near me. You touch me. I'll fucking squash you, mate. Cross your fucking little spider head like it's a fucking spider because they're pretty soft and easy to squish. Um, You know, moths. We had a, a moth in my place recently and it was fucking enormous. So we killed it um, because I was scared. It didn't touch me. I did break my own rule there a little bit. <laughs> Uh, but it flew close and therefore fuck you I'm going to kill you um, because I'm a bastard a big bloody bastard oh but you and we thought you were sweet and nice we we assumed you were basically Dr. Doolittle talking to all the animals making friends helping them out taking the giant snail to space that happened that was in the original Dr. Doolittle they, they there was a giant snail and they lived in its shell or they, no, they didn't live. They sat in its shell as it flew to the moon or something. I don't know. That was it. Fuck, look at it. Look it up. Dr. Doolittle, the original film. The Push Me, Pull You, the double-headed llama thing. That's funny. And then the giant snail that took them to space. What the fuck is happening? I mean, there's the Eddie Murphy version. And, you know, <laughs> fuck off with that shit. Oh, let's remake shit because we've got no original ideas. Oh, let's put a man in a plant costume and have him controlling plants because we've got no original ideas. Brilliant. Go you, fucking entertainment industry. Hooray. Oh, I'm an independent creator and I've got these original ideas. Can I get some funding to help make... No! But we're going to remake Robocop, one of the greatest sci-fi films ever made. Oh, cool. Was the remake any good? No, of course it wasn't. It's a piece of fucking shite. But hey, have loads of money and make it because money. Ugh. Oh, am I ranting and raving about people remaking films? An entirely relevant topic that no one else has ever mentioned before. That the three and a half hundred people that watch my podcast will care deeply about. Wow, Ewan. Wow. A trailblazer you are. I hope I grow up to be like you. Except, you know, not sad and alone with a receding hairline and a stupid ginger beard and a fucking porn addiction and bad health habits. Maybe I'll wash once or twice a week. Who knows? Uh. <laughs> Hola, mi amigo. Como esta? Esta spi spider manu. Spidre Manu. Spider Man. Spider Man. I hear he does. <laughs> um, let me teach you how to draw Spider Man. Do you want to see my. This is my concept art. Wow. That's amazing. Can you believe that took me a couple of minutes? And then, then I was done with that. But that's how I... There you go. This is my tip. Let's let's have something useful in this podcast episode instead of what the fucking ever it is I'm doing. When I do, like, concept art, it's just so I know what I'm doing. Google Images, you know, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. This is person, and then he has, you know, face, hood, jacket, whatever. Just so I know what I'm working with. And then you figure out pose... Draw it rough, go, yeah, that's probably all right. Trace it and go, yeah, that looks about right. And then you, you talk to yourself while you're drawing it loudly. Say some swear words. Throw in the word piss because that's my catchphrase, I guess. Um, and then you hit yourself with a hammer as punishment. Punch yourself in the stomach just to hear the noise. And then cry a lot then you can be you and two do 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 clearly i'm not going to finish this drawing but i'd at least like to get to a point where i have something i can happily use 
for a thumbnail because otherwise I'm just going to feel like a, a big silly goose <laughs> if I can't even get a thumbnail sketch out of this god damn podcast that's probably a good point to leave. What's the the six and a half minutes in this portion of the... I record the things in sections, you see, so I need to recall where to press stop on this particular one. Because this, me talking right now, might not be in the final cut, but it might be, depending on how bothered I could be when it comes to editing. We'll see. Oh, Lord, help me. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, this multicultural episode of the You and Sucks podcast, which isn't the You and Sucks podcast anymore because I changed it to You and Schmooin, which I don't even like anymore. I don't like the name You and Schmooin podcast. It was funny at the time, but now I'm like, hmm, I don't want to be self-deprecating, so I don't want to go back to You and Sucks. But is is just You and podcast a good title? Or maybe it's just the podcast. It doesn't have a title. Maybe that'll be it. It won't have a title. Oh yeah, did you know I've got a podcast? Oh cool, what's it called? It's it's not. I don't I don't have a title for it. It's just the podcast that I do sometime. Sometime once a week. Um and you can listen by typing in you and you and you and in YouTube. There you go. That's easy enough to find. Type in you and it comes up with you and fucking McGregor. That bastard taking my name. Ugh, being world famous and handsome. And in a lot of very popular movies and some slightly less popular movies, but still kind of good and relevant. There was that one where his dad said he was gay and then he died of cancer or something. Then there was that film where, you know, something about trains with spots on. I don't know. I never saw it. Um, oh, Ewan McGregor. What a bastard. I'd kiss him, obviously, but oh, he's a piece of work. General Kenobi. Mm. I was in Star Yeah, you're in the shit Star Wars. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, yeah? Fancy man. He was in that film where he played a graphic designer. Oh, I think that was the same one where his dad died, actually. <laughs> no, I agree. Uh, do you think I can crop this for the thumbnail? Would that work? Would that be good enough? Can I stop now? Oh, my God, please, can I stop now? Oh, my God. This drawing will be for sale. Not that anyone will buy it, because look at it. It's one of the worst things I've ever drawn in my life. No, it's really not, actually. It's not that bad. I think if I tried, because I've been too busy being so accepting of other cultures and languages. Bien. Muy bien. Bueno. Si. Los grandes gatos. Gatos grandes. Grandos grandas. Granditos. Pequeño... Better. Ewan, Ewan es puta. Puta escucha. Escucha mi oh, los tíos. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. There's ants in my eyes. I can't feel anything. It's a very rare disease. It's called depression. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. Oh, yeah, I'm funny sometimes, folks, I promise. Also, I'm a Nazi.